in the lush, humid areas along the Fukuoka coast. And a half years ago, remain unrepaired while nature reclaims the landscape. But dangers locked into this land. Background radioactivity is still too high for people to return, so they're ripping nature out and putting it in sacks. Plants, soil, anything that sets the alarms off, dug out, swept up, and stacked for decades. They can't bury it. Nor can they send it somewhere else. Safer storage of some of the more radioactive material, perhaps, but you can't scrape off all the topsoil here. You can't cut down all the vegetation, fell all the trees. You can't drain all the rivers, and you can't stop the rain. And in the Fukushima region, the rain still carries radioactive particles. This is a restricted zone. You can come here. But you can't stay overnight. Government hoped that these measures would mean people might be able to return to live here next spring. But revelations of massive and previously unreported leaks of highly contaminated water around the stricken nuclear plant 17 kilometers away are making all assurances ring hollow. The government's nuclear watchdog visited the plant. And emerged critical of the company responsible for maintaining the water tanks. It's hard to believe that the facility was built to store highly contaminated waters, preventing leakage. It's what I had in mind before coming here, but I must say the inspections that took place at this facility were careless. Local fishermen too were hoping they might be able to start work again. Now that's out of the question. All fishing once again banned. What can I say? Everyone is so sick of the situation that they are at a loss for words. Whatever we say is useless since they are still discharging the contaminated water. Even if we make a fuss, there isn't anything they can do to stop the leak, is there? The rivers of Fukushima can't wash the radiation away; they just spread it, and the ground around the reactors is saturated with contamination. The Japanese government was hoping at least to contain the nuclear problem. It seems it can't even manage to do that. Anita McNaught, Al Jazeera, Fukushima.